In celebration of our new season, I'd like to welcome Van Dyke Parks and the Night Music Orchestra. David Sanborn and the Night Music Band. Tonight's guests, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Maria McKee, Farrah Saunders, and Van Dyke Parks. important commercial messages. Thank you. It's great to be back. I'd like to welcome you once again to Night Music. Uh, before we continue, I want to actually uh, reintroduce uh, you to the great musicians in our band. Returning on drums is Omar Hakim. <laughs> and on bass, fresh from my ambitious world tour, Tom Barney. Also returning is keyboard whiz, uh, Philippe Sais. And in the back, back here, he's a legend. We've got him on percussion, Don Elias. And, 
and last but not least, a man whose middle name is Guitar, Hiram Guitar Bullock. <laughs> Playing a, a rather battered Stratocaster, I might add. Uh, actually, but he's not the only one uh, with a battered Stratocaster on our show tonight. We also have a man whose middle name is Ray, Stevie Ray Vaughan.
our next guest records have been longtime favorites of mine. I've never actually had the chance to hear him perform live until this week. And, well, this week I have the double pleasure of not only hearing him perform, but actually playing with him. And, and it's uh, really a pleasure for me to welcome Pharaoh Saunders to the show. The song we're going to do is called Femby.
I'm the great pretender. Our next guest has just embarked on a solo career. She's a gifted singer and songwriter, and her name is Maria McKee. Here she is singing her song, Breathe. First I was scared when I opened up my head And the motor that was running was the mind of you I was scared when I looked at my reflection In the shine I saw with the eyes of you I was scared when you touched my lips And the breath I took was a breath that shook me with a shock like a flame as eternal as a song And the song is you I will let you breathe through me I will let you be with me Cause our lungs we share When I'm alone Anytime, anywhere I can feel your heart beat Cause our blood we share I was scared When you came into my room The walls became the sea Your voice was the moon Oh, when you rocked me in your arms Like a song A wave on the tide of you
Your blood, your breath fills my lungs. I was scared when you came into my room. The walls became the sea. Your voice was the moon. Oh, when you rock me in your arms. You've caught us. Well, we're back with Van Dyke Parks. This is Van Dyke Parks. Please welcome him. And, and Van Dyke has a new album out, and it's called Tokyo Rose. And I believe you've described it as having a Pacific Rim sensibility. I mean, could you elaborate on that a little bit? I think that's fair. I, <laughs> I did come out with a record called uh, Tokyo Rose. It's about uh, um, East meeting West such as we have here uh, tonight with Osamo playing the yes. Koto. And uh, we want to play a selection from it called Tokyo Rose. And, and we will. Does that but, make sense? Well, of course. But, but before we do that, tell me about... Uh, I heard an interesting story about your first contact with the... Um, I don't know how to put this, Japanese culture. Is that, is that well, the right uh, yeah. terminology? I noticed you didn't say that they had their first cultural encounter with me. Well, I... But, uh, but at any rate, that was in 1971. Uh, I was working on a record with a tune called uh, Sailing Shoes, written by Lowell George out in California. And we had the session closed, as we often did in those days. We thought we were very important. We did this song called Sailing Shoes. We, I worked it out with Lowell, and there was a group of, of uh, seven men silhouetted in the control room. And I rushed back to the control room to accost them, and um, darn if they didn't all bow and give me a pearl. And uh, they said, we would like you to make some music for us. I said, well, that's very beautiful. Of course, I emotionally responded to that pearl. And uh, immediately, uh, t I told them that I'd like to work on something for them musically, but that I was busy in this album. So uh, Lowell George stepped forward, trusty Steed, put his hand on the briefcase that was open and filled with hundred dollar bills and said, I think we can make music out of this. <laughs> so that was the first time I made music uh, with, with uh, a mind toward Japan and that was in 71 and this album I think is really a, uh, the first public statement of uh, my general love for Japan and, uh, and uh, the emotions that uh, that drive my uh, music since having met that event, and that is a historical event in my well, life. It would be Are in anyone's life. They're in this record. Suitcase full of $100 bills would That's, uh, change my day at least. You know, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's really funny how far that suitcase took me. <laughs> I can take you, yeah. So, uh, well, why don't we do the cut off your album, which is, of course, the title cut, Tokyo Rose. Please. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. okay.
sight of the lights of Ropongi, the nightlife of Tokyo goes. And out on the street, with a beat from Tahiti, a neon moon lollipop glows. A woman in silken pajamas is seen on the screen of a door. She slips on a rice paper dress by the oar. That's the price of the ice on her clothes. The girl I call Tokyo Rose. For hot sake, unzips as her hips hit the floor. Her pearls were strung in the harbor below, in a bar where I asked her for more. Veranda, a barbagean band in a stew was playing a soca. When I reawoke, we were back at her penthouse, us two. I spoke of my love for MacArthur, the man not the park in LA. But you're so much older. She covered my shoulder, and I heard her say with a sigh, "A soldier may never say die." many critics for exploring what I call sound. Sound is uh, something like uh, eyesight to me. Rasan Roland Kirk was blinded at an early age, so his fascination with sound developed rapidly as he searched for new musical expressions. When the beat hits you and the spirit gets to you, 
Let it explode. He appealed to the same audiences as the free jazz players of the 60s, but his music was deeply rooted in jazz and blues traditions. Oh, yes. You better get out of here. At 16, he dreamed he was playing three instruments. The following day, he chose a Stritch and a Manzello, two archaic saxophones, from a pile of discarded instruments in a music store basement. They made the sound he imagined. His collection of instruments included flutes, sirens, whistles, recorders, and nose flutes. If an instrument did not exist to create a sound he heard in his head, he would invent it. Roland Kirk developed the technique of circular breathing, allowing him to sustain a note indefinitely. He also innovated a widely copied vocalized flute style. Kirk always explored his musical boundaries and encouraged aspiring musicians to do the same. Anybody would like to have a whistle? We'd like to ask you to participate with us. What about a blues in W, baby? In the key of W. One, two, one, two.
direct advisor. State of Rhode Island. And I deep pile shag carpets. Speaking one of nine Eskimo dialects. Arugula. Radio controlled cars. A multivitamin with, with iron. Duct tape. And these are a few of my favorite things. Well, I've had a wonderful time, and I hope everyone else has, too. I'd like to thank our guest, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Stevie? Thank you. Thank you. Maria McKee. Maria, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bruce Brody, who played beautiful piano with Maria. Thank you, uh, Pharaoh Sanders. Thank you, Pharaoh. And, uh, of course, Van Dyke Parks. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. And as a closing tune, we'd like to do one of Pharaoh Sanders' songs, The Creator Has a Master Plan, and you know he does. <laughs>